Hello, this is Alex from MusicSequenceScene.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make these really big trailer-esque drum sounds. So to make these drum sounds, or this, basically you need three things. You need a drum sample, a reverb, and a compressor. And up here I also got an EQ and this devil lock, which I'll get into later. So let me start by showing you what the drum sound is like. So I've got two of these sounds. So here's the first drum sample. Like that. And here's the other one. Cool. So the main sound, though, it comes from the reverb and the reverb I have on here is the little plate by sound toys and this reverb to me is so awesome it's really rich it's really sounds awesome on vocals and drums and it's really good to make up this sound so when I just add reverb onto the samples here's what it sounds like which we're kind of getting it, but to really get the sound, you want to add a lot of compression on there. And here I'm using the VC76. I just chose it because it's kind of easy to use. It's uh, emulation of the 1176. It's made by SoftTube, and it comes with the, I think, Native Instruments Complete Ultimate Bundle. So here it is with the compressor on. And now the sound is coming together. You can really hear that reverb tail. And we could make it longer if we wanted a little bit here. Let's see. And it really goes. And then I think it needed a lot more bass, you know, especially in the reverb tail. So I just boosted a crap load here. And here's it with the EQ. And there's just that cave that will rumble the subs in like a movie theater or whatever subs you got. And then the last thing that I added here was this Devil Lock, which is also made by Sound Toys, the same company that made the reverb. And it's a distortion, more or less. And here's, it's more what I have as like a creative thing. So here's the sound kind of with it on. shorten the tail a little but if I like turn up the crunch we'll get like a different sound completely right maybe crush it a bit Ooh. well this might be really nuts but let's see oh that's cool That might be too distorted, but that's basically the chain that I have set up here to make these drums. Uh, this is a really simple uh, ingredient list, what's that called, a recipe for making these giant drums. So I hope you dig it. One more thing here, uh, I want to show you that I have redone the website. It is now musicsequencing.com, and I have everything really well organized so you can find any articles that you want to find, gear reviews, stuff that I've done. And lastly, I am now offering private one-on-one -on -one music production lessons and music theory. So if you want to learn music production or music theory, you can go check this page out, musicsequencing.com slash lessons. Um, about me, you know, I've worked on movies and TV shows. I went to Berkeley College of Music, if that matters to you, but um, I'm really excited about teaching again. I have a couple students already, and it's going really fun. It's over the internet, so if that will interest you, you know, check out the page, see, and shoot me an email or something. Have a great day. Peace.